I think it's crazy to think in this day and age that one in five Aussies are doing it tough with mental health. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, I've been through it. I'm, yeah. I'm not ashamed to put my hand up. But, yeah. you know, to think that over half of those people won't seek help, you know, it, it means we need to keep talking about it. We need to keep doing things to make people understand that it's okay to talk about your vulnerabilities. When you're next to the fire, when you're having a meal with someone, you can break down these barriers in conversation where you're not looking at the person right in the eye. You can unleash so much of what you're going through, but when you share your grief, you halve it. Yeah, you do. And I think, you know, when we do share that grief with someone who we don't know, you know, when you do go to see someone, yeah. you, you do let down your guard a lot more. Yeah. But I like that analogy and what you spoke about, your own personal experience. You're right, I've sat alongside people riding from Perth to Broome to raise money for Black Dog Institute, um, to, to raise more awareness. And you do, what you talk about for hours and hours, you talk about what's happened in your life. It normalises it. It's a, it's a good conversation to have. And like you halve your grief when you share it, you double your joy when you share that too. So you're opening that space to allow people to receive who you are. 100%. Just actually saying it, saying it out loud um, can make a difference. Thank you.